What's up guys, Marber here bringing you another review video. This time it is of the Dazne Showtime camera. Now this is a action camera that is waterproof, rugged proof, you know, uh, you can use it on quadcopters and stuff like that. And it has an LCD screen on the back. So let's look at the camera in more in depth. So when you get the packaging, you're going to get the camera itself and then this uh, waterproof case that it's in. You're also going to get two batteries that are uh, that I already have one in here. You're going to get a couple uh, little accessory add-ons so you can uh, extend out your mount. There's also four adhesive mounts in here. One thing to mention about these adhesive mounts is that they actually turn 360, you hold it in, and you can turn this around 360. So you don't have to move the camera uh, when you are putting a different mount on. It also includes this double battery charger with a cable also. A very handy HDMI cable since you can hook it up to your TV or HDMI port. Three buckle mounts and then it also includes a thumb screw. Alright, so this is a very similar camera to the GoPro. So I'm going to compare the size to the GoPro so you can see this. Um, basically the same size, uh, same kind of buttons also. Here's the sizing of the casings. I have the Hero 3 Plus. Uh, there we go. It's basically the same size same um, weight and options like that. Okay, so this Dazne camera has a 3 megapixel sensor with video re resolution up to 1080p uh, at 30 FPS, 960p at 30 FPS, and then 720p at 60 to 15 FPS if you want to bring it down that low. So this is a very nice camera if you're, you know, an entry-level action sports user, something like that. You want a waterproof camera. Uh, this one is a very nice option for you, the Dazne P2. So the photo resolution is 12 megapixels, 8 megapixels, 5 megapixels, or 3 megapixels. And then the display on the back is really nice. It's 2 inches RGB. Uh, the, the camera lens is a wide angle. You can also change that, uh, you know, for your videos. If you don't want to do the wide angle video, then you don't have to. Waterproof up to 20 meters. The battery is a 3.7 volt, 950 mega amp an hour. So let's, let me show you how to take it out of the case. So what you want to do is just open up this latch, open that, and slide it out of the case. So there we go. This is the actual camera itself outside of the waterproof case. Um, as you can see, very nice, nice black, stealthy look. All right, so to turn on the camera, you're going to press, hold down this button, and you're going to see some red, and it's going to blink and flash, and it's going to stay red like that. And then as you can see, the live view uh, display you can see. So on the screen you can see several different things. You can say that it's 720p and 60fps. That's what I'm recording. You can see the date and the time. And then you can see, I think this is the battery that says 100%. And then this is um, how much recording time you have left on your SD card. So this also means that I'm in video mode and I am doing wide angle. So I can change all this if I want to by pressing down the power button again and I can change it to different uh, the three different settings that they have or so just by pressing it again and then it should go to the picture mode. So now I'm in picture mode and then I can press it um, to go into playback mode which is a really cool feature about this camera. You can play back your video as soon as you uh, take it. You can go into settings and change all the different settings, or you can go to timed mode, and it's like a time lapse. So, very cool features. You can do video, time lapse, or regular pictures if you want to. So this is a great camera for like quadcopters and stuff like that. Okay, so now to record, all you want to do is press this button, and there you go. Now you can see that uh, the red is flashing, so that means it is recording. And you can see this means that it uh, the number is going up. That means it's going to record. Press it again, and it stops recording. So you can hold down the button in the front to turn off all the LEDs. Like that. Uh, now you don't have the LED screen on the back. Um, and these are just flashing, which is telling you that you don't have it. Press it again, and it's back on. So that's a really nice feature about this camera. As you can see on the side, you have the place for your Mac OSD card, S, uh, HDMI cable, and charging cable. 
and then you also have another side the battery plays that goes into the camera sideways um, other than that there isn't much else to note about the actual camera itself so definitely go check this out Dazne uh, action camera it is a very nice buy it's very cheap it's a great alternative if you know you beginner entry level uh, and action sports cameras stuff like that so definitely go check it out uh, this has been another review video. Marble out.